I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Hannah Narias, who's Senior Vice President of Telesta Networks. Hannah, the last couple of years have been exceptional in terms of the impact on the cable industry and society in general with COVID-19. How has this um, impacted uh, operators' investment plans and priorities? And what are their current plans and priorities? What are, what are they doing now? Yeah, thanks Stuart for the question. First of all, I would like to highlight how important the broadband infrastructure has been during this pandemic. All this remote work, remote education, remote healthcare, all that was enabled by us in the industry, making the high-speed broadband connectivity a reality. So that has been instrumental to keep the societies and the economies running, even during the lockdowns. Now, when it comes to the investment scenarios, so the Im imminent reaction from the operators after the COVID pandemic hit was to focus on short term, keep the networks up and running, cope with the sudden surge of traffic, especially on the upstream. And that's what we were seeing during 2020. Now, when the pandemic was further maturing in 2021, we saw restarting of network build outs restarting the DAA, remote fire deployments, and even more importantly, starting to do high split upgrades to enable the growing traffic in the upstream direction because of all of these remote services. Now you mentioned a DAA distributed access architecture and DOCSIS 4.0 is coming down the track too. There are so many different roadmaps for operators to, to think about. What would you do? What would your recommendation be? That is exactly right, Stuart. There are quite a few flavors where operators could go and ask technology vendors. So we need to be careful selecting the right choices. To start with, I would nevertheless like to highlight that any network technology roadmap has to be showing credible path to 10 gigabits per second services. And DOCSIS 4.0 is the cable industry answer to the 10 gigabit second speeds. And we are happy to see that technology maturing. Now the logical roadmap, especially in Europe, would be to start with DAA the, and start with what is mature today, which is DOCSIS 3.1 Remote 5 technology. So that is interoperable, that is mature, can be rolled out in volumes today. So that's the prerequisite for any subsequent upgrade step towards 10 gigabits networks. The second step would be then to start looking at upgrading the coax part to 1.8 gig uh, spectrum, meaning replacement of passives, replacement of actives. And finally down the road, also deploy MacFi 4.0 nodes and 4.0 cable modems. So it's a very logical journey covering the next three, four, five years. So talking about 1.8 gigahertz network upgrades, do you see that proceeding at the same pace as DOCSIS 4.0 rollouts? Not quite. Uh, in US, the cable operators haven't really done 1.2 gig uh, upgrades yet. So they are still coping with the one gig spectrum networks with 42 meg return path. So there, there is a lot of sense of urgency to move, especially to mid-split and high-split. And uh, we are believing that uh, when the high-split upgrades are happening, they will migrate to use 1.8 gig components as soon as feasible. So there is high sense of urgency in the United States. Situation in Europe is a bit different because 1.2 gig upgrades have been done in big volumes since 2015. So there is still unused spectrum available and hence we believe there will be a one or two year delay compared to US for 1.8 gig upgrades. Hannah, thanks very much. Thanks for your time.